All right, let's go to our tour of duty for the booty. If it was up to me, I'd take every barrel, mutie, and synth and shoot them into space. Is that really what you want to do? Racist? Dr. Ingram said she needed this suit testing yesterday. Yeah, yeah. There are some good super mutants, not a lot. Everything holding together? Trust me, you'd know. Good. Uh, firing! Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Thanks, Initiative. Sure. Go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. Is that First what an exam question. is? Or? As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? That happens often enough for you to have a question about it? You'd be surprised how many wastelanders answer yes to that question. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. Since you haven't spent too much time in the wasteland, I'll assume your answer is no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer, and the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. That was simple enough. All right, I'm calling Smiley's. Fuck it. Let's do a Hail Mary. Let's see if Smully's answers. Ah, oh, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. 
I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Ad Victorium. If it looks dead, put one more in its head for good measure. Why take there. a chance? Try it now. Nothing. I'm supposed so, to report to the new ago. recruit I heard I can't about. Fix it. I can't fix huh. it. Not what I was expecting. What happened to your legs? Walking away like that is just plain rude. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. So, Thanks, you're the brother. new recruit I, I heard about. Huh. Not what I was expecting. Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the prid one's about to crash into the ground, or a <coughs> robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Plate? Hell, I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. What happened? You feel like telling me how you ended up that way? That's a little personal, don't you think? <coughs> Most people in your condition would have given up. I just wanted to hear your story. Sure. What the hell? I was fighting with the Brotherhood in the Capital Wasteland. Worked at a staging area for the Power Armor troops. Our position was along a ridge line overlooking the battlefield. I'd say it was a hundred foot drop, give or take. That's quite a drop. The enemy had no way of getting to us up there. It was a perfect liftoff point for the vertebrates. To make a long story short, the ridge I was standing on took a hit from a nuke, sheared most of the cliff right off, and caused the platform I was standing on to tumble over the side. If I hadn't been test piloting one of the power armor suits at the time, I would have died. Wow, that's pretty lucky. Luck had nothing to do with it. It's all about the steel, the servos, and the circuits. Besides, I'd hardly call getting both my legs crushed lucky. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Elder Maxon's orders, all forms of technology should be confiscated or collected. Wow, my own power armor. Charging into a situation Excuse me, Proctor blazing, is a good way to Step get yourself forward, killed. Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage. I promise that I won't bite. Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Buy them? Wait, buy them? Since when does the military sell equipment to its own soldiers? Since someone dropped a whole bunch of bombs and blew up every single factory that manufactured weapons and ammunition. Keeping the Brotherhood supplied takes caps, and everyone contributes to the cause. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you... Uh -huh. I could use some extra cap. You need them. Uh-huh. Just in And since I'm stuck, after you're done with the meet and greet. Uh-huh. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, 
gun. Aha. Uh -huh. Tegan. What brings you to me today? Set me up. Sure, I've got something that'll put a smile on your face. I have power armor now. I mean, I've had power armor. Liberating the Commonwealth is a huge responsibility. We'll get the job done. One of the changes that Fallout did, I love how they changed power armor. Before, power armor was just something you put on. And I remember in New Vegas when you got shot and you were in power armor and it went bing. That was like a big deal. You were like, whoa, you're in like armor armor. This shit is ridiculous. There's like a whole overlay. Max ordered me to follow him to the gates of the alley. I'd be the first one to kick them off. I'm proud to be serving under Elder Max. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwin's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Easy. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. Uh -huh. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of... I want you to head over there. Wipe. Understood? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations right. now. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong. Dismissed. Get on that gunship, soldier. I want Fort Strong cleared and that stockpile secured. Hightail it back to the Pridwin. 
this in cure for strong? A couple of super moves. I got a parking ticket, by the way. I got to fight a, a ticket, by the way. Yeah, I was making a right on red, and they said I was running a red light. My my truck, or my van. I am uh, my work van. Uh, I didn't get in trouble. They sent me the ticket. I'm going to uh, dispute it, because I was clearly making a right on red. Selling this stockpile to us? Like you guys got a oh, look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Why do you hate super mutants so much? They're responsible for the death of a close friend, a brotherhood knight named Cutler. So when you ask if I hate them, I say hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric, 
I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. I am. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm right. dismissed. You should head back to the Pridwin. I'll take care of the shells and the mess. Fuck out of that base. Like it was nothing, bruh. There are zero people at the Pridwin. I don't even know how that's possible. Imagine being like a regular person and then having a, uh, a squad of powered armored fucking guys just drop down. You know what I mean? Like, doom, doom, doom. Man, I really want to see the fucking Fallout series, man. Are you Boyd got Crowder. Time. Yeah, research patrol. <laughs> Babysitting field stride. Prestigious. Joining our cause was the wisest decision in your life. Outstanding work in Fort Strong, soldier. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way. Because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you simply throw one to the ground. And the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Thank you, Elder. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. 
An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to our scribes, the reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated, at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Anything you need, Elder. You just say the word. I want you to get out there, and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll try- mm -hmm. If you discover a way in, any questions, Knight? Uh-huh. Aren't there any pre-war records about the Institute that might help us? Our records indicate that the Institute was born from the remnants of a pre-war educational facility, the Commonwealth Institute of Technology. The ruins of the facility are at the center of the city, but we've already searched them thoroughly. The location appears to have been abandoned long ago. So it appears that the trail ends there. Anything else, Knight? Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. You okay? Hey, just one more thing, if you have a minute. Sure, go uh, ahead. Uh, uh, right, then. <laughs> oh, gotta work on those people's skills. Oh, I have time for that quick chat now? Sure, go ahead. Oh, good. I just wanted to say I'm really happy, thankful, that you've let me stick around here and in order to show you that I'm done with the past, I want you to have this as it's the... Right. Thank you. You're welcome. There's one more thing. A much bigger... There are still robots out there. My communications are down, and I can't call them back. But I can... Sure. Great. Let's see here. Yes, there's an...
for it. Place is officially cleared up. the one person I have at Red Rocket. Okay. I expect you'll be leaving me behind. Typical. Just go away. Haven't you done enough to torment me already? Go see Jack Cabot. Back on the fallout grind. Yeah, I'm not working today, so I get three streams in. I'm doing this, and then I'm gonna go over to Kick and watch fucking Ratchet TV. Let's go meet the boss. I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Go ahead. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome, but I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? The universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. 
That's really interesting. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's become my life's work. My approach is to combine a rigorous scientific method while keeping an absolutely open mind. So much has been closed off to us simply because people assumed they already knew the answers. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. I'm ready to get to work. Good. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Only about a million. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Yep, I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. Alright, let's go fucking do this. Hey, so Bash, bro, you play Elden Ring on PlayStation? This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new guy. So this package, pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot oh, Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. You should play uh, Outlast Trials, because it's crossplay. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. Hey. It's like they're scouting the place or something. I'll be glad when you clear them out. Hey. What do you want now? What is this package anyway? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. What is it? I don't know and I don't care. They pay the bills. I just work here. Are we done here? So who took the package? Raiders? Sure. Assholes with guns. Though it's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Kind of like they're scouting this place or something. Yeah! I'm yeah. glad you're going to finally get I'm rid of I'm glad it. you're in here. So, I didn't mean to send the message to you, but I was like, What is this morning, place? If Edward mama. wanted you to know, and I was like, he'd have Oh no, I sent that to Anna, and I was like, unsend, unsend. But that was not fit for you. Thick mama. Nothing else. Okay. Ooh. All right. 
<sighs> All right, Anna, you can go ahead and leave. Mean. So mean. <clears throat> Won't even... We got a lot of sense in play right now. It makes things really dangerous. Commencing recurrence analysis using Dubrovian method. Pam. Solving for theta n when i approaches probability bounds. I'm Heads very up. busy. Tom's got more goodies in stock. Desdemona. I have a report here. It reads more like a comic book. Apparently, one hell of a fight took place at Green Tech Genetics. Yeah, that was me. I took down a courser. That's what the report says. Hard to believe. I'm all for one less courser in the world, but the conventional wisdom is that you run from them rather than engage them. So why did you kill him? I needed a courser chip. I need the code on it. You have one of their chips? Intact? Follow me. Now. Decoding a Courser chip is a very delicate operation. A million things can go wrong. The least of which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Oh, hey, Dad. You need something? Tom, we got a Courser chip. Whoa! For real? Oh, man, it's been ages! You've hit the jackpot with this. Hand over the chip. Let's see what's on it. Here you go. All right, Tom, make it happen. All right, little Corsa chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh man, don't, don't, don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Use the back entrance. Too much traffic oh, in the church and we'll burn this they What movie are you watching? Night. This is gonna be... Come on, I'm baby. Curious. Show me that pattern. I think Where you is it? Me already. Wait. Probably They're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh, man, we got lucky. New moon. I got you, you institute bastard. I got you. Software in. Come on. Show me that sweet bass note. Come on, baby. Then we got it. We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Hey, yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, does. And agent, I hope that helps you as much as you've helped us. Good work. Everyone's all you've been hitting the kins way too hard, but I got my eyes open. I see. When running synths out of the well, wastelanders can be a bigger problem than even... Hey. Saw some of you work along the trail. Not bad. For a human, that is. I appreciate the compliment. Yeah, whatever. Listen, you caught us at a shit time. We're still recovering from... We're a man down, though. And if anything Deacon said about you is true... I'm interested. Awesome. I think... I know Dez said we don't... You really walk the freedom trail by yourself. I suppose you're here for my medical service. Word is Diamond City is under opposition control. Sometimes the story's got it right. You kicked ass at Malden. So you and Glory got assigned the same op. Compartmentalization of income does help. This is gonna be a... Hey! I think someone's out there. You're mine now, rookie!
unacceptable. Imogene is missing, and I want her found. She's not missing. So did you find out what happened to the courier? No, but that does Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. What else is Edward I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. Um, now, as far as what's next. Oh, hell, I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> you shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm... Sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. No. She's, uh, a little flighty. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. No problem. I'll bring her back. The trouble usually isn't finding her. It's persuading her to come home. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been... Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Excuse me. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. I don't have time for this. You should make time. We call ourselves, but we're growing fast. Step right this way. Sounds good. Well, that's just fan. Don't worry. I don't fight. So you must be Imogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. Right this way, neighbor. He's a threat! <laughs> Keep him off me! Welcome, neighbor. We're always... Tell me something. Why do you... Because if you are that, we call ourselves... Right. But we're growing... Sure. Step right th Sounds good. Well, that's just... Fa right this way, neighbor. All 
Alrighty. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job, getting to welcome new members into our movement. The first step is simple. You have to learn to give up your... Just go... You must think I'm an idiot. Well, you came in here, didn't you? Sure. Now, you've got... I'm walking out of here. Your choice what you want to do about it. Nah. You're not worth the trouble. Hey. We don't have anything to talk about. Get up! Get up! Oh, damn. Here we go. Don't tell me. Jackson. <laughs> You're Jack's sister? I was expecting someone a bit... younger. You really know how to flatter a lady, don't you? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my... Hey, 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 hey! I'm scared? I was just kidding. You look absolutely fabulous. It really isn't, and I know it was Jack. You don't seem very grateful for being rescued. Well, maybe technically I was not allowed to leave. So, thank you. I was bored with Thomas anyway. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we got here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it would force me to join his absurd cult. Let's get out of here. Don't worry, I'll find my own way home. I'm not quite ready to face Mother. And... Thank you, bitch. Good day to you! You hear me now? Edward! <clears throat> Not now. This is maddening! Oh Edward, my god, it's happening. over to the Hartley Modulator. Do you copy? Watching now. How's this? Oh, 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 that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders this. For God's sake, Sammy, the doorway, right there. Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening to you? 
If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. Oh. What do you want? What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. Interesting. Let's go. Good. I'll exp Hold on. Weren't you off looking for Imogene? Yes, I found her. She's fine. Oh, good. At least there's one small comfort. Uh huh. Day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that though. right? Fuck Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what mm -hmm. I. Got it. Good. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for us. Jack, be careful. Hey there. Just I'm... follow me. Try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really... The, uh, yeah, Lorenzo's thing. I'm probably not gonna help with that, though. Man. I'm trying to figure out what other. Like, where's Deacon, bro? Oh. I sent Deacon's bitch ass to the fucking. Dangerous look about you. You ain't here for me. Fuck his deacon. This is Radio Freedom. It is 5 p.m. All quiet here. Stay tuned for Batman Alerts.
testing all day, all across the Commonwealth. All quiet here. Stay tuned for Minutemen Alerts. Deacon, there we go. So, you ready to get this show on the road? Sometimes the direct approach isn't the best to take. Blue, so without tape, hey you there. can fix this. Want right me there. back on deck, huh? I gotta admit, things have been pretty quiet without you. Yeah, bro, I left you fucking. Let's go then. I'm all ready. men seem to have given a good account of themselves, but not good enough, sadly. We need to get to my office. From there, we can see how bad things really are. Only opens with okay, a key. stick close, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's go. Something about this place. I don't have a weak stomach, but damn. Whenever you're done corpse squatting, I'm good to go. Damn. The door is blocked from the other side somehow. We'll have to find a way around. I can't believe this is gonna be worth the trouble. Look at this place. Nothing but dust and junk. Is that? Pay for that. Oh, you little bastard. Hey. I heard something. You are so dead. And come back. I'll show your face. Come on. I dare you. We've been making the rounds, doing the job. It's time you learn the big secret. Everyone thinks that Desdemona is the big boss. She calls the ops, gives the rah-rah speech. She does what I tell her to because the railroad, it's my show. It's been that way since I fin- Do you really think I'm gonna fall for this? Fall for what? Haven't you noticed that when I say the word, Desdemona does a 180? Hey, there's an intruder. No, I vouch for him. Then welcome. Every time. It, we've come a long way since the beginning, but we're about more than that. You've lied to me at least once. This is just more of the same. Yeah, you got me. But you're gonna hear the same sort of lies elsewhere. There's other organizations out there, and in time, I'm sure they're gonna spoon feed you their own patent. Ignore the verbiage and look at what they're doing. What, the, what sort of world they'd have you Yo, thanks for the advice. I don't know if it's your good old-fashioned pre-war values or you just won the genetic lottery, but anyone that has... And? All right, cool. Another day and night. Day. That's 
that gun to. are you hurt? I'm not dead yet, but I don't think I can get up. You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I... I sent the elevator down to the basement, like you wanted, and shut it down. Good. Suddenly shut I... Good. Yes. Had a few of them before they decided to leave me alone Need the in password. Here. Yeah. Haven't seen anybody for quite a while. I think. It's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? Really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Got it. Let's go. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine. Be careful, Jack. You too. You okay? I just need to rest here a minute. Don't worry about me. Can I give him a stim? I have like 15,000. All right, anyway. Can't even offer to give him this thing. Hey.
part where you're supposed to die. I'm just getting started. Kill everyone you see. Don't hesitate. We can't let them release Lorenzo. We need the key. Can't pick this. All those assholes upstairs, they still can't stop these clowns from barging in here? I'm gonna need a password. Get that door open. Those idiots are trying to shut down the Abremelin field. That's the only thing keeping Lorenzo from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now. That's right. You need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. You get this open? Everybody gets ahead of the juice. You're running out of time. That's right. You need to shut down the containment field in order to open I'm opening the, door. the main door. Hurry! The Abramelin is going to stop! Apparently, even the simplest task is being... That's done. Finally be free! The 
There's still one chance. I just need a moment to enter the failsafe codes. It's not too late. It will take some time for him to regain his powers. I still have a chance to stop him. Don't listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe into the containment grid. Switch the four Abremelin generators to manual override, and I can flood his cell with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Do the right thing. Open this door and let me out. If you don't set the generator soon, he'll free himself, and then we're all dead. Uh Everything my son has told you about me is a self. Didn't need to flood anything with anything. I took him out. Hey, I I got something important to say. I really appreciate you putting up with my bullshit. Truth is, it's been a long time since I, I've had a friend. I'm a liar. Everyone knows it. I make no secret of it. Because the truth is, I'm a fraud to my core. When I was young, a, a hell of a long time ago, I, I was... Well, scum. I was a bigot. A very violent bigot. You trying to sell me another of your lies? Really? Just hear me out. Make your I ran with a gang in university. Uh -huh. We kept egging each other on. The clause leader. I'll withhold judgment until you finish. Thanks. So I took she saw something. Leaving the death clause to leaving wasn't free. We were trying for kids. She didn't know that. I certainly shit. I don't remember much clearly after that. I know I killed most of the claw. The railroad contacted me, figuring I'd be after what happened to my family. I thought you might. Uh -huh. I don't even know why I lie anymore. But I can't tell the truth. Everyone, Tom, uh -huh. I don't. Mm -hmm. Hell, I'm not even at- Uh-huh. Hey. I'm not the hugging type. Oh, wait a second. There's no, like, mission? I'm curious, I'll load back up that save, the quick save I made. Anything that looks that pristine has got, anything that looks that pristine has got to be. Bad news, you ain't lying. Who's there? Have you lost your mind? Why did you release Lorenzo? 
Lorenzo's dead. You don't have to worry about him anymore. What? How? That's... I can hardly believe it. I don't know what to say. You'll have to give me a moment. My I God, don't what think does we this were mean, done. Jack? I'm happy he's dead. He was going to kill us, wasn't he? And to be fair, we had it coming. Ignore her, Mother. She's just trying to provoke you. What it means is that we don't have to worry about Lorenzo coming here to kill us. And also that we're all going to have to learn to do without the serum. Our little taste of immortality is over. It could have been a lot worse. <clears throat> I only wish I'd been able to find some number. way. I still believe that with a little more time, but it doesn't matter now. I'm sorry about Lorenzo. Thank you. Uh -huh. Before you go, you did make the right choice in the end. So I feel I owe you something for you. I think this is fair comfort. Right. Saving your family's gotta You know, I was so come back in a week or two. You see now that I was right about Lorenzo. Too late, of course. Alright, I gotta get a new companion. Wow, how do you that? Where'd they go? Seems we have a tail. There's like two people at Jamaica Plains, bro. Jamaica Plain. Treasure hunters, corpses, and heart. Good luck stories. Isn't it? Hancock. Look who it is. We heading out again? Let's do it. Done. You're just mm -hmm. safe? Where the hell's the fun? Uh. Huh?
You're tuned to Radio Freedom, Voice of the Minutemen. Nothing to report. Stay safe, people. Yo, Virgo! How you doing, my good buddy? You chilling? Ain't this Jamaica Plain? It's supposed to be some ancient treasure buried around here. I have here. been having... Up for a dig? Ooh, strawberry sounds delicious. See what happened? Preston Garvey <coughs> fucked around with the wrong one. Now his bitch ass is literally just fucking farming. Anything I can do? What's you up? Say the word. You made your decision. Now live with it. The gunners came back. Hit that settlement pretty hard, and they're in bad shape. Damn. I was really hoping we could prevent it this time. Well, you ready for some more work? Sure. Our scouts have found a Once you clear it out, set up mm -hmm. before you know it. We'll have uh-huh. I taught those raiders a lesson. They won't be attacking another settlement again. That's good. I hope I live. Uh -huh. I'll let you know if I hear. In the meantime, make sure to all. You should know. People have been complaining a bit about the bed situation. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know. There's 34 right. beds and 18 people. Go fuck yourself. Where's Piper? You can fix just about anything. Guns, computers, people. Just gotta have the right tools. Success until someone threatened their life. Me? Seems to be growing I'm very well. Successful. What's the angle here? Piper. Heading my way? Let's get this over with, shall we? Are you block. fucking kidding me, Piper? What's up? This is normal for other journalists. Hey, Piper. Piper. Head my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Mama Murphy's as good as her word, kid. No more cams, and no more sight either. Hey, Piper. Head my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Mm. 
I beat the gargoyles and got to the uh, Altus Plateau all by myself because I literally couldn't summon anybody else. I'm proud of you. And I, uh, what else did I what, do? What gargoyles? The, the two of them. The, the two of them in the cave. In the, in the underneath. Oh, part. yeah. <coughs> I also yeah, beat those. The, uh, the other thing. Still suck. I was killing everything. You missed it. I'm sure you were. But like, I got, I got to the, uh, I beat the, uh, the fucker on the, uh, the horse that was all golden, and you need to beat him to get into the capital, Layendale. Okay, is that okay? That's good. That's good. Yeah, I beat the fuck out of him. You're making me want to play some Elden Ring. Now. I'm good when somebody is taking the aggro and I can kind of stay back. I got that. I was doing Millicent's quest line. I got that bitch the Valkyrie arm. Man, I cannot wait for you to fight Melania. Nope. I'm going to get hella help for that because I'm going to have a plus 10 weapon by that time. Yeah, and you're still going to get destroyed. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but I'm going to have help. Are you gonna try and summon Let Me Solo Her? He's on PC. No, who's Let Me Solo Her? Oh, you're right, that's me in my alternate life. When I come back, just to rub it in your face. That reads my ass daily, because I'm soloing this bitch. Wait, do you actually not know who Let Me Solo Her is? Is there some dude who just like fights her and alone all the time and wins? Yes. Yeah, see, exactly. But the thing is, not only does he fight her alone and win, he doesn't get hit when he does it. Yeah, if you fight a boss enough times, you learn all the the, the moves. Yeah, you, yeah, but even that's like Im so impressive, dude. No, yeah, I'm not knocking him. He's good. You better not knock him. Like, fucking FromSoft even acknowledge him as a fucking legend okay, in the community. Okay, keep, keep blowing him, please. Is his cock deep enough in your mouth? Go deeper. Go no, deeper, Rui. No, it's not. It Go needs deeper. to be deeper. Go deeper, Rui. Jesus Christ. Right now, I'm going like... Oh, 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 and then and when you look at this like, dude, <laughs> and his nails are nasty, and his balls have stuff growing out of it, and he doesn't make any money, and all this bad shit... And then you're still like, yeah, this dude's amazing. I'm pretty sure he leads a normal life. Do you know that? Wasn't yes. sure I'd see you again. I don't think so. You managed to get what you need. Hope you enjoy. I have, I have the code. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a lead to take down a courser. Like fucking you cereal? To get You've never coded? played this game, have you? No. You, Kellogg is I the, played it a little bit. Kellogg is like the old badass one arm, but his other arm is fucking robotic. And he like, they, they, the institute was like, oh, hey, yo, what's up? The homie Maddie. Hey, Maddie. But, uh, but she was like, you don't seem to understand the situation you're in. And then he fucking step right, grab one of them, bitch the other one out, slap him. Bow, bow, shoot the other two. And then you have three dead synths. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to stretch a bit, dude. I'm fucked up right now. You just streamed. How are you fucked up? You don't drink or smoke or do drugs. Yeah, when you sit around all day, your fucking back hurts. Okay. Oh my god! Don't say that. Don't say that. The railroad helped me. Oh Why? God, those kooks. I would have expected they'd be too busy that, that's trying what to liberate to your back vending if you machines sit around. or setting computer terminals free or... Sorry, they just have something of a reputation. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard no. through the years. Came up with some schematics so for you. So you stay in during ratchet, sweet bitch? These hands are ridiculous. Fuck no. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. 
Here's the symbol explanation. I don't want to do ratchet anymore, man. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport courses. I'm going to have a whole count I want that to say something. You little sassy bitches. That classical music station. That's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear you know, your, that your gender fluid this or your, isn't you know, my area of expertise. I was biosystems, not engineering a little bit of queer there, advanced not much, systems or anything. You're just saying shit just to try and get a desired effect. I'm sure and I don't know what effect record, you're going for, I'm, but it's not working. I'm not. But I'm just saying that, like, build this there device, are certain things, right, use of that, code, that women you you are that are more totally just like gossip and, relay. you know, and ratchet and you, things, I mean, you know. You and the fact it? that, you know, you these things don't interest you. This but things like Elden Ring does, even you. it's very heteronormative. Very heterosexual. <laughs> I got it covered. Good. Good. Because you've got a man in there. For all our sakes. And do you forget our agreement? I could knock you I'll help the you as best I can. Very heterosexual. <laughs> you fucking bitch. I had it until you laughed. my only hope no. for ever being. You bitch. No. I can't. So I could I could it. Now go on. Oh, Take heteronormative is like the most you evil do whatever it takes. Term call ever. on whoever you know to help you. That is what that is what homophobic people always say <laughs> to sound smart. Bruh. Be very heteronormative. I'm heteronormative and I believe heteronormative people should, you know, have the uh, higher privilege because they were relied lost. upon to propagate the species. I got to build a thingy, I think. Oh god. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Yeah, it is. Fuck. I'm gonna go get some something to eat. I'll be right, some coffee. I'll be right back. Oh, what is it? What's it? Hold on. I need to make a save right here. Because I want the ability to choose um, which one again. So I want to go with the Brotherhood and see how that goes. Go with the Railroad, see how that goes. And... Word is done. Yo, what's up? There's Demona. Do you need something? We're going to start with the Railroad. I have signal plans here to build a signal interceptor Biatch. that can get me into the Institute. So that's what the Courser chip was all about. You needed that frequency, I take it. Why? What does this machine do? Mm, teleportation. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. The Interceptor can hijack their signal and send me instead. We've spent dozens of years and too many good agents' lives only to discover not a goddamn thing. And now we have the answer, thanks to Drink. you. Drink, I got you. I'm gonna take a dab shot. Teleportation? You know, that the Institute could build something so... Heteronormative. Right, we've got work to do. This is our top priority now. Bro, come on, I want bro. Tinker Tom to help you in I'm gonna any way possible you to get this device to built. the Council of the Gays. I can't call them what what the actual technical term is. We're it's Council of Bundle of Sticks. Ready to hand over the plans? Okay. This is the big one. There you go. Just like how Let's with the Council of Niggas. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Who wrote this? Some kid with a crayon? And I will throw Shit. Rui in front, but butt naked. Real big kid. This is my sacrifice. Molecular transmission via encrypted To the LGBT way. community. Those institute eggheads are crazy. I and give you a twink, and they're like, too fat to be a twink. Like, like Hold a on, wait rocket, a second. You know? That's mm, intense. Too hairy, too. Yeah, definitely not a twink. Wait a second, I need Rui to get here. This is going to be a really good bit. All right, everybody. Shh. 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 It's going to be awesome. I knew you could figure it out, Tom. The plans cover all the high-end egghead shit, but they're missing a ton of engineering detail. Filling in the gaps will take time. This bit here, the stabilized reflector platform, just needs some high-grade metal. Easy. Psh, by the time you finish that, I'll have the rest done.
Nice work, Tom. Glad you're on our side. Hey, tell that to <clears throat> you know. We can scrounge up the platform components you need. I'm no drinking problem. on that too. But where to build it? It's gonna need some serious space. This baby's big. Uh, it should fit over at Mercer Safe House. Pam's already given that place her full blessing. I'll flag some runners to deliver the components there. <laughs> Wait there. Where to? Oh, fuck. I just told that bitch to wait just outside the fucking... Hey. What you got for me? Over here. Yep. Hold position. Stay there. Hold up. Okay. Come on. I'll be here then. Deacon's record is... Best. You can learn. Ooh. Ooh. Pop, pop, pop. Ooh. When did it get so quiet? Got a minute. Oh, 
God damn it. Play without glasses for three minutes. The world's a dangerous place. Uh, you got the platform built yet? For anyone in my Tick tock. Life. I did it. The platform's constructed. And I filled in the blanks on the blueprints. The science of this monstrosity is. But there's three specialty items that I just can't grab from our sake. You find those, and we'll. Thanks, Tom. I'll find them. I don't doubt it for one minute. I just took my pills because last night I did not take them. Bro, you gotta be way more, way more feminine than that, bro. Cause think about it. I'm using you to try to get in good with the council of gays in the city, bro. And when I offer you, I'm gonna offer you as well, you the highest quality. You want to be a bit more feminine? I can... I'm gonna thing offer is... you as the highest quality meat. You know what when that I'm is? around you, I lean more into my masculine side. You know what I, that is? Deal with the hot. What, oh, what, what, what is the highest? I'm gonna quality? offer you as a twink, but here's the problem. But here's, okay. well, here's the problem. Okay, what is? As that? soon as I drop that, they're gonna be like, "Hold on, twink? Ooh, uh, uh, that ain't no twink, girl. He is too thick to be a twink. There's too much hair. Yeah, that's definitely not a twink." I can't. Shut I up! I will fucking groom my body. But it is not a All fucking right. twink girl. Uh, ooh. Ooh, Jesus. Look at it. It thinks it's. Ooh, uh uh. It thinks. Ooh, uh uh. Uh, ooh, you quit being so bitchy. Right, can, you it's use, fine. can you stop? Bruh. Uh -huh. They're gonna be sitting strong. So I got this new coffee I wanna try. What's it called? Uh, it's 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 some Starbucks coffee. It's like it's like graham cracker. It's toasted graham coffee. You're gonna be shitting like you've never shat before. It's gonna fucking change your life, my guy. But I wish you. How the do best. you know? Because think about it. All that sugar plus the coffee in there. It's not. There's no sugar in here. How do you think they make it taste like graham cracker? Do they use the salt? I don't know. I read the ingredients and it just said coffee and natural flavors. Sugar is a very natural flavor. Is nice sweet not a natural flavor? Okay, well, look, I put, I usually put sugar in my coffee anyway. I didn't uh -huh. put sugar in this. Okay. Okay, Monsieur Pudgy. Oh, whatever. All right. <laughs> you ready? I'm going to try. I'm going to try this now. All right, Here we go. Try it. I'm allowed to call you thickums, right? Oh, what's up? It's uh, a lot less sweet than I thought it would be. Do you have the fat boy toy in the game? Oh, you have a fat man. What do you mean fat boy toy? You're making it sound dirty. I'm gonna go put some sugar in this. Damn, bro. Hey, look, I tried it black for the record. And you, you don't and like light, it? And, 
Yeah, I don't like it. Uh, I mean, I like it. It's just... I just think it needs black. to be a little sweeter. Yeah, yeah. Black isn't as sweet as you want it to be. Black is a little too rough, huh? Black talks a little too bit of much about how his people were wrong, huh? That's what's, you know, that's what's going on it's with black, huh? It's actually kind of tastes like water. What the fuck? Starbucks coffee usually tastes like that? Like drink, water? I don't drink Starbucks coffee. And I remember that one time you had like a cold brew nitro and you're just yeah, like it was worse than crap. I do I do drugs and this is bad. Yeah, bro. I had no tolerance for coffee. It's yeah. Powerful. And then I tried cold brew nitro and it fucked me up. But, like, I remember the first thought I had was, this ain't shit. This ain't shit. Marco ain't shit. And then that was the first thought I had. And then I called you up and started talking 100 miles per hour. 100 words a second. I was like, Marco, this ain't shit. You ain't, hey, you ain't shit for, you for tripping over this coffee. Like, fuck this fuck you, Marco. <laughs> And, and, and well, then I realized I am being fucked up by this coffee. Yes, I... <laughs> it's done. It has it's been... so strong! <laughs> yeah, I need to put some sugar in this. Beer bag. Excuse me. Hey, man. This isn't gonna, gonna do anything without out. power. This thing is gonna be huge. We'll finally learn about what the institute really up to me. a metric ton of power to get this to work. We have a fusion generator. Hey there. Everything's got to be on the same power grid. Otherwise, the machine won't work. I have to make sure this is on the same grid as the rest of the signal interceptor. With a little bit of white in it. We are in business. Status report. We got activity days. Mm. Not sure how long. That's much better. The institute is a huge unknown. Oh, that's Before so much better. Before we can make any plans, we need to do. You, 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 what you see that, Marco? You put a little bit of white in it. It's time to learn about so Patriot. It's so much. I better. like the name. Sounds mm. encouraging. There's a okay. man. Really? Or yeah, woman, not these, sure. these are inside the institute yeah. who helps yeah. since escape to freedom. Dozens Keep going. of since owe him their lives. I bet it tastes just like we don't now know his name. We've never had a way to contact him. Yes, so gave him the actually. Patriot. <laughs> it tastes great. If your plan works and you're Should able to get inside into the my institute, coffee? we need you to make contact. Okay. I'll do my best. Tom's encrypted a message for Patriot's eyes only. 
Once he sees it, he'll contact you. Until you make contact, and probably after, you need to stay in their good graces. You need to infiltrate them. Can you do that? Can you be our agent on the inside? Bring it on. You can do this. I believe in you. Stand on the platform and I'll give you the holotape. Just plug it into any institute terminal and wait for the reply. Tom, talk to me. So I'm rebranding. What are you rebranding to? Back to you, my Nikki, please. No. Okay. But the, this character is uh, Yumo's canonical love interest. What's the name? Ludovica. <laughs> no! Listen, please! What? No! You, like, what's at what's least wrong with that name? Rui Valentine. It's like, Rui is like, okay, that's pretty, you know, doable. But it's like, Ludovica. Bruh. No, Lu Ludovica. Exactly! That's my whole point! Nobody can say that shit! Why are you going through something what do so you? It's a fucking a name. Why are you it's going through literally a so normal simple. name. No, it's not normal. It's anything but normal. You're going through something so simple. To... Ludovica. Say it. Ludovica. Ludovica. Yes. Say Ludovica. it one more time. Ludovica. Ludovica. Ludo not that complicated. It is, bro. You can't. And I'm even going to spell it with two O's for what, simpletons. What's up, Ru <laughs> what's up, Ori? You're fucking awesome. You see how you see how Ori's name is so simple. Eve Rui Valentine is great. Why are you changing it to the most complicated thing in human history? How is Ludovica complicated? It's complicated as shit. It's like change your name. Like, what if I was like, I'm gonna call myself Stefan now? What would you say? By now. I'm I'd sure say that's that that very unfitting for you, West but okay. <laughs> exactly, that's a unique fine. energy reading recorded by Paladin fine. Dance's recon team. <laughs> that's According a very to complicated scribes, name, but okay. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. I wouldn't say Stefan is complicated. That, that's a, just a Our fucking name. No, Ludovica is complicated. And everyone responsible for the no, creation Ludovica. of the Ludovica. What did I say wrong? Costs. To accomplish I, this look, goal, if I spell it out for you, it won't be complicated, okay? The scribes meticulously searching the common Luda Vika. They've come up empty-handed. Luda Vika. The only logical explanation like Luda, like Luda, is that they've like gone ground. That's where we yes, need your Yes, if that helps you, then I have yes. a way to infiltrate the Institute using a device called a signal interceptor. So it appears we share I'm not going to type goal. how I I'm actually... I'm pleased that you've chosen to build the device with no, the brother type plan to write the name. Play, no, Indulge me for a moment by satisfying my curiosity. No, because then someone's going to fucking Tell take that name just so to troll to me or something. Oh, no. Then type it to me in uh, personal. I think Fine. they're the ones who kidnapped my son. The Institute preys on the weak to further their own ends. Together, uh -huh. I'll call ahead and brief Proctor Ingram. Where's your fat ass here? Ludovica. All right, so let's do this. So my plan is to run these three quests simultaneously on three different manual saves. I don't know about Scrap. I think she loves. Cold steel, angry scowls, lousy haircuts. All the touches I've come to expect from the Brotherhood. Don't let Maxon's age fool you. He's a brilliant tactician and an experienced soldier. How is the brown gunk with sugar added? Oh, amazing. Yeah, it actually just tastes great now. Just a few power armor mods and gave them to Tegan. I guess I just like sugar in my coffee. Out. I don't know. Elder Maxon said you'd help me build the signal interceptor. Which is... Oh, looks like you're calling not the shots great uh -huh. right, because... I'll bite. I need to cut down the institute on the sugar. uses teleportation to get in and out. This like machine can hijack their signal and send me instead. Teleportation? Because I have like a tablespoon of sugar. Via encrypted RF waves. 
Okay, even I have to I admit, used to add more. That's genius. This explains why we've been picking up anomalous energy readings all across the Commonwealth. Yeah, well, so there you go. I send it to you and ten soldiers to come out of the damn walls. And this little beauty allows you to literally hijack a return signal. Instead of grabbing the intended target, it grabs you instead. Impressive. Well, you definitely know your stuff. Damn right I do. It's difficult to make out all the details here, but I'm thinking you can get started by building a stabilized reflector platform. It's gonna take a cargo hold you, full of high-grade metal, you, you, but gonna, I'm sure that we have plenty of it right here at the airport. At <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm glad it's you nice. can make sense of those plans. I haven't made sense of all of it's it. It's catchy. Yet, but I will by the time you get the first the two part. Two letters built. after There's the first one. There's a list of everything you need to find. Uh, make it look You're also like going to need a dumb, massive dumb power source to get the signal <laughs> interceptor running. Hey, at look! Least, you said it was complicated. I dumbed it down. At least the U, at least the U is kind of like stylish, right? It's kind of like a Castlevania name, but like. Yeah, but the thing is, that name is taken. I already checked. <laughs> so I'm just like. So what can I do to keep that name, but also kind of like so who, make so it, took it bro? quirky? Who I don't fucking fuck know. Right Prob now. Probably someone named Ludovica because, like I said, it's a first name that is given to children at birth. In what country? Not a country where Italy. they feed their fucking people. It's an Italian <laughs> name. Not a country where they feed their people. So it could be either Italy or the U.S. <laughs> just look at this. I'm just uh, not a country where they feed their people. Oh man, I'm it's so such a pretty crazy. name. I like. I like it. It's interesting, man. What? Is that Mario? I don't know. He's screaming about some fucking shit. Mama, she been dead for 10 years. I don't know drama. Seen that bitch at 16, right? Thuggin'. Lil Wayne, my favorite rapper, cause he the best breather. Rui loves him too. Oh, Rui no, loves no. Wayne too. Rui no, 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 no. says Wayne is an overachiever. I have it on film. <laughs> Rui yeah, said, wait, is it over in Chief? <laughs> 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 I didn't oh, use it in that word wrong. Oh, Lord. You would. <laughs> wait, is an overachiever. <laughs> what? Uh, what? Um, give me a break. Fuck you, you're the best in your own game. Is that, that, that's Preston Garvey? Fuck Preston Garvey. That motherfucker hates me, bro. Cause I, I so amazing, unforgivable. Fuck you, Preston Garvey. I just want to join up with the other boys. What the fuck is wrong with you? I mean, the Raiders are the only people, yes. But still. The Raiders are kind of fly, bro. I'm not going to lie. The Raiders kind of fly, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. The Raiders kind of thick, man, with that dick, man. The Raiders hey, kind of hit, man, and they quit, man. Ooh. I've seen the Raider twerk despair, five times. We're here to save Ooh. the Commonwealth. I'm proud of you, sir. Had enough of lions. <laughs> Helm, you testing gravity or something? Sit right here with me, Pipe. Missing Nick. Like, like already, you've had a paper for two seconds. I think I miss Nick multiple times a day, every day for years. Yeah. In my life. And yet you make jokes. What? No, I'm saying I miss Nick. Any luck building the platform yet? 
Yes. yes. I'm ready to build the rest. Good. Let's move. Here's a list of it. Now I know some of that. Sure. Wait, what's up with her knees? She does not have legs, so she has to wear the power armor suit. Okay, why does the power armor suit have knees? Because she doesn't have knees, so she has a special thing built with no knees, because the knees need to attach to your knees in order to know how to work, but she doesn't have knees, right? There we go. Yeah, fair point. Yeah, bro, I'll be talking about that bitch too. She'll be like fucking dogging me out. Fucking legless hoe. And I don't call her Lego last, I call her legless. You feel what I'm saying? She's not the badass fucking elf. She's a fucking gimp. Name one movie that isn't Lord of the Rings. Okay. Where Orlando Bloom is not a blacksmith. Uh, so a knight. That's a hard one, right? A knight's tale. Was he a blacksmith in a knight's tale? He was a blacksmith. Yeah. Those are the only two movies of Orlando Bloom that I know. So <laughs> that is the only masculine. A, a knight's. What you ne you never fucking seen Pirates of the Caribbean? He was a blacksmith in that, dude. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, I mean, a knight's tale and Pirates of the Caribbean are the only two that I know. Just like I don't know why, just Orlando Bloom just gets cast as a blacksmith so much, and then I like, like, he, like, and then I saw the uh, Gran him, Turismo movie. Imagine him in that reality show where you have to make swords. <laughs> that, they're like, oh man, I I only played a blacksmith. I didn't, Orlando. If you can't make this sword, then the other opponent will cut you down with his. Um, what? Um, I, I don't think that's how, the, how I, 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 I don't know anything about making a sword. No, I, like... I just play them in the movies. I really don't know why I'm here. Oh, you don't know, see. You don't understand. You scared. No, I, I, I really think I've been pigeonholed. I... I... The only type of hold you're about to get is a hole in your chest. You, want a, you don't craft you, a sword. You want that pipe? The the what? You you want that pipe? <laughs> um, excuse me, sir. Yeah, see, what you don't understand is Luis is fresh from prison. Okay, where he used to make shivs and other kinds of blades. Now, Orlando, if you don't get that sword started real fast. It seems as though Ruiz is gonna craft a sort of axe shiv with a pipe and uh, a fucking hatchet, it looks like. I'm not sure. Anyway, we have given you an old elven forge heated by the fucking <laughs> the fires of a fucking long dead volcano. I don't know how to use a, a <laughs> volcanic you must use the spells of Shimia in order to bring the fucking forge to life. I you hope, played an elf. I hope you. Remembered. I watched your movies, Orlando. I hope you. Bullshit! Remembered. You don't know how to use this forge. He's like, look, I know Elvish. I just don't know the words of Shimia or whatever the fuck. If you don't know the words of Shimia, God help you, Orlando. God fucking help you. Um. It looks as though Ruiz is crafting the shiv. I'm gonna cover it with shit so that if the blade cuts you, whatever it cuts, you're gonna lose. <laughs> Just get in Uh, um, sir, would it be quite possible for us to, you know, um, maybe call a truce? They said I get my freedom if I take your life. We did indeed say that, yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like Orlando was like, I call upon the elven god. Then like he crafts. He's like, this is the blade. He's like, I need the blood of a god. Fucking Elon Musk is like, well, you know, I, I don't mean to be 
And then, and then he, oh, looks no, upon, me to brag. he looks upon Bill Gates and he is like, you are a god of industry, a god of tech. I shall take your blood. Bill Gates is like, oh, you know, my wife took most of it, but I'll give you what she didn't take. <laughs> fucking Elon is hot. <laughs> Elon is like, you fucking telling me Bill Gates is... Bro, all I need is a cartoon and it's a wrap, bro. I'm gonna have... I'm gonna have fucking Titans of Industry mad at this me. This isn't right? gonna do anything without power. Remarkable work, Knight. The signal and... Alright, new save. Alright, so see how this one is Maxim, Big Herbal, Manual Save. And see how this one is the Bitch Desdemona, Big Herbal, Manual Save. And then now I'm going back to here, Railroad HQ. And we're gonna build that shit with the fucking, uh, the Minutemen or the Railroad. Whatever them bitch ass motherfuckers. They're level are. 613. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Don't look at the negatives, okay? Look at the positive shit over here, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't think I can call it a negative, but you're like overcompensating for something. My dick is tiny and my mouth is long. Come see what happens when you talk about this long. Talk about this long. Final fucking lead. I've been uploading this shit all fucking day. Do you need something? I have plans here to build a. So that's what the. Oh no no no! Wait a second. Can't. What the hell? I thought coffee was supposed to keep me awake. Damn, bro! You're saying I'm that bit? I'm that boring? No, Dude, I'm saying I'm fucked up right now. What did you eat, bro? Listen, no. Here's so here's what happened to me. Last night, I went to bed pretty early, and um, I forgot to come downstairs, wake up, and come downstairs and take my pills and then go back to bed. Mm -hmm. So instead, I slept from I want to say 9 p.m to um, six in the morning. Nice. What's our next move? That is way too much sleep. And I didn't take my pills. And yet to. Fuck you, Preston what Darby. What do you need, General? I need help. We need to build a device that can get me inside the Institute. The Institute? Why in the world? They kidnapped my son. Damn. We'll give you whatever help we can. Don't worry about it. Now, assuming you... The Institute? Teleportation. If anyone... I'll let you know. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs... So we have, like, the fucking railroad who specializes in technology, right? So, like, yeah. they, they specialize in this fucking sense shit right so they have been tracking the institute they have been going ham right and then you have like travel with the fucking brotherhood of steel right this chick works on power armor she knows technology in and out right yeah and then we have sturgis can it wait this bitch nigga that looks like elvis preston thought you might be able to figure out these plans for me sure thing let's see what you've got here you go wow what a mess teleportation it's real. I got it from an ex. Seriously? Anyway, I'm gonna need some. Uh -huh. But uh, you can get. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll need some pretty high. Uh huh. Good work, Sturgis. Well, don't thank me. Mm -hmm. Here's a list of what you'll need for. While you're working on that. Right. Keep in mind. I like if you had a. <laughs> and it's gone. Uh huh. Got work to do. Can't talk now. What was I saying? 
Fuck Sturgis. Nah, Sturgis is cool. <laughs> Fuck Preston Garvey. Um, what was I gonna say? So today was my last day of work. Damn, bro, how was that? Just like any other day of work. They, except I really couldn't wait to get out. They didn't say sorry. They didn't say goodbye, Rui, and give you like a big hug. And they were like, yeah. No, I, I kind of just walked out. Uh, like, not, not like a like a walkout walkout. Like, I mean, like, yeah, I just walked out the door like I did any other day. Hey, Sturgis. How's it going? Did you find a good spot to... Yeah. Ready to build the... Good. Here's the list. I'll meet you So, yeah. Uh, I'm done, done with, uh... <laughs> with that job. Are you happy? I guess. Do you feel like you left it being as best as you could be? The best person for the fucking job? Did it make you a better person? Did... What, did the job make me a better person? No. I mean, I I guess I felt like it did last year. This year it was kind of just like, man, there is just fucking most most of the year w w was like drama surrounding like this one fucking coworker, and then she left, and, and what did she that kind of felt like. Oh my god, what like what didn't she fucking do? Like literally, dude, we had like we had to do a whole thing because this bitch wanted to put away her shit like at the end of lunch period. Okay, so So we we have we have two places that we normally serve from, right? We we have the grill room and we have the service line. The service line is pretty much remains open all day. Or at least it should. It did it does now. But the thing is we used to have it that like after after our lunch break both the grill room and the service line would remain open. Right? So we we kind of just like Management kind of just got the idea of just like, okay, maybe maybe that's not really necessary. Maybe maybe we only just need to manage, you know, one fucking cash register instead of two and have students. You gotta so be they're just a like POC for your shift for uh, your shift all week. Your boss is on vacation. What's POC? Be piece of crap. Oh, damn. Wait, I gotta be POC for... Oh, I don't know what it means in this context. Anyway, continue, <laughs> I just... Rui. Yeah. Oops. Point, point of contact. Oh, point of contact. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that, Ori. I literally, I didn't read the comment. I literally just saw POC, and I'm just, and I'm just like. Usually, POC <laughs> is person of color, right? I guess that too. So anyway, Everything looks good on my end. You so manager was just like, okay, works? let's just let's just like have the service line. Let's do this. Open. You sure. I'll start now, scanning. This bitch that worked there that is gone now. She okay. was, she was just Hold like real pulled away still. all of I don't her want any corruption of the molecular being at the end oh, yeah. at the end By of the way, lunch, right? Like, I like all this the was stuff a that was on the service line, to find right? out as much as we can about now, the institute, that meant what they're up to. That we now, had to this bring tape's all set with a program the that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Every fucking day. Now we gotta hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's uh. Just Every there day. for decoration. Okay. Yeah. Every fucking day we had to do that the shit. And then we had to bring it back the next RF. morning. It was and fucking stupid. Got it. So Hold like, on to your butt. So after she left, you, you know, what... Or after she got... Because, like, literally what it took was, like, one of my other co-workers, just, like, during a meeting, just being, like... 
yo, like, she is literally the cause of every problem we have right now. And, um, and she got moved to another school. Easy. Um, the person causing the problems, I mean. And then after that, um, things got a lot better. But, but, like, the thing is, I was, like, so close to, like, yeah, but how's that happening, like, back in, like, fucking, I don't know, April? like late April or something. And then so yeah, we we only got like 2 months of the fucking school year like without without her and things going kind of smoothly. But honestly, the instant she left, um it got, I got this weird feeling like we had just jumped backward in time. Like and I feel I like this is here. September now. All right, here we go. Right. And I wonder to see if father. I make it here. You're yeah, quite resourceful. Sure. He's gonna be black. I am known as father. The institute is under my guidance. And that's when I knew. I know why you're here. Lie. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Step into the elevator. But continue. All right. Um, and you know what I felt like today? What? I feel like this is the beginning of September. I can only September imagine what you've time. heard, what you think of us. September in June. I'd like to show you that you may have yeah. the wrong Except impression. Christmas in July. Oh, the July yeah. is kind of close to Christmas, right? Welcome Christmas in to January the would be more apropos. I don't know. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific... Very personal reason. You are here for your son. All right, let me see the plot twist. I'm ready. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. <gasps> Sean? Damn. Oh my god. Look at his brown little ass. It's really That's you. Amigo right there. Yeah. I'm about to pick you some corn. Hello, Nick. Sean, it's me. I'm. It's a little I'm your dad. Robert, what's going on? Wait, hold What's on. happening? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! You know who he's calling, bro. Shh, shh, shh. It'll be okay, Sean. You sound crazy. I'm here now. I know you. Go away. Father. Father, help me. There's someone here. Help me. Please, Sean. I'm your father. Talk to me. Just open the door. Father? Father, help me. He's yeah, trying bro. to take me. You father? Are father, help me. Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. Thank you. Can you, can you fucking turn the camera on? The camera on what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects <laughs> of extreme. This is what I knew. I'm like, the emotional stimulus. Please try and son. keep an open mind. Oh, I recognize watch that you are emotional, 
This is what and that I'm your doing. journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. Just... Help me understand what's going on here. I promised answers. And answers you shall have. But I need you to realize that this... Situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am your son. Bullshit. Is it? After all the things you've seen and experienced in the Commonwealth? Think about it. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not 10, but 60 years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. <laughs> it... It wasn't right, what they did. Taking you from me like that. To you, that would certainly seem true. But to the Institute, it made all the sense in the world. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being walking talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Sixty years. So much time. Wasted. I know. I know you must have questions. Uh-huh. Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with the loss. Has it always been easy? 
Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? Damn. <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's v Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you... us... To have some amount of revenge, what else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg could have killed... Whatever. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. It doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what you do. I'm glad we see it the same way. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Just... Right. I know there's more for us to discuss. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated. I've been a part of something amazing here. And now, after... Yes, that's what I want. I know. I know you've been through so much. I'm the new Kellogg. I'm basically. pleased to see it has not impaired your judgment. Mm-hmm. Forgive me. There is much to be done. You'll need time to acclimate your... I'll do whatever it takes. I am glad to hear the Institute is uh -huh. you want to introduce yourself to the division. Uh -huh. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. Alright. I'm in the Institute. How is it? Yeah. What's up with this Busted. boy? He's a he's a fucking synth. He turned him off. Yeah, just, just, just you're gonna, you're gonna kill your son now. Sensor anomaly detected. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. <laughs> the uh, this one guy I watch was it J.P. Anderson Philip or J Joseph Anderson? Um, he uh. What he would do, what he did was as soon as he saw father come in and he saw his son right there, he's like, I see my son. He's safe. This is the man that took him. I really don't care what he has to say. So I reacted how a father would in this case. So he instantly shot him <laughs> and then it like froze yeah. the game. Oh, uh, it was. And like everybody became hostile, but they couldn't get in the door. So like, you know. This a clean floor. Welcome to the Institute, sir. Malfunctioning? Can you not see the grime and dust? Scanning. Subject identified. Don't make excuses. 
It was a nice place, all things considered. I don't know. It's like, uh, you know, aside from the whole, you know, slavery thing. But I mean, I guess they're robots. In real life, I wouldn't consider <gasps> it to be slavery. No visible reaction to the K-14. What are they doing with slaves? The synths. The dosage rate is larger. What about them? They're, they're slavery. Well, what do they do? They make them do shit. And they like, you know, they had cap control. Well, what do they have them do? Sex. Sexual things. Okay, what do they actually have them do? Uh, they have them like, break into settlements. Like, befriend them. But it's like, they're like robots, right? So they're like, go into the settlement and like, uh, befriend them and try to help them out as much as possible. So the robot really is going in there helping them like, with the best of intentions. They have like, personality chips and shit. So, so they know, um, yeah. you know, so they know, like, who to, uh, or not who to, but they know, like, um, uh, you know, how to talk to people, and they, like, kind of be endearing and all this stuff, and, like, and basically, uh, they just flip a switch, and they're like, all right, kill everybody, or they say shit like, um, all right, tell us everything about their, you know, about all their shit so that they know but like right up until that moment where the switch was flipped that person really was on their side really did love those people you know what i mean but again it's all synthetic uh, so I like see. you create it so i don't know how ethical that really is i don't know no i mean if you can give something a con it's I don't, I don't have the energy to, to discuss ethics at the moment. Yeah. I'm just going to sound like, well, you see, with the consciousness is in, it's a little more complicated than I, uh... When you start getting the brown people involved, when they're doing the work, when, when you... if the synth is brown, depending on how brown the skin, then the synth should... <laughs> not know what the jazz is all about. Are you live right now, Rui? No. I, I fucking stopped streaming, man. A long time. A while ago. A long time. <laughs> Till I fucking pass out now. I'm like not even playing video games right now. I'm, I'm like, I'm just here. You should pass out. I'm about to go do that. I should. You gotta go to Ratchet. Oh, yeah, I'm raiding out. out to a soapy potato. All right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> All right, Ray. Well, thank you for joining. Of course. <clears throat> We're gonna do more gaming tomorrow. Probably Elden Ring. I will see you guys then. Stay awesome, stay beautiful, stay sexy. And uh, yeah, let's give Soapy some love. Swam.